क्वेश्चन हियर इज अरेंज द फॉलोइंग इन इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ देयर डाइपोल मोमेंट वन एन एच थ्री दैट इज अमोनिया टू बी एफ थ्री बोरॉन ट्राइफ्लोराइड थ्री एन एफ थ्री नाइट्रोजन ट्राइफ्लोराइड टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट विल सी सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट फर्स्ट पॉइंट वट इज डायपोल मोमेंट म्यू दैट विल बी चार्ज इन टू डिस्टेंस इट इज ऑलवेज only for polar molecules or only polar molecule show the dipole moment depending upon their structure again so if you take h and cl so cl will pull the electrons there is a partial negative charge on cl partial positive charge on h plus then there will be a charge separation so you will take any one charge and multiply the distance between the charge separation you will get the dipole moment and uh, remember if there is a non polar molecule mu is equal to 0 for example hydrogen oxygen nitrogen these all are non polar molecules if you take co2 ch4 ch4 even if you see carbon hydrogen two different elements their electronegativity are very similar even ccl4 will come into this category because of its structure come back to the question nh3 for these kind of questions first draw the structures now don't forget to include the lone pair of electrons we know that nh3 it has a tetrahedral shape geometry but the molecule has pyramidal shape like this with due to the effect of lone pair okay bf3 boron has no lone pair so it will have a trigonal planar at 120 degree angle nf3 again there is a lone pair so it pushes the bonds to come together and you will also have again the pyramidal shape now we have to take into account first i will take the bf3 now here fluorine is a more electronegative it will pull the electrons this side so we represent it by this kind of arrow plus to arrow goes towards negative so here again this side here again this side so what happens here the resultant dipole moment due to this fluoron this fluorine and this fluorine will be equal to the dipole moment due to this fluorine so if i call this fluorine as 1 and 2 this has 3 so resultant dipole moment due to fluorine number 1 and 2 will be equal to uh, dipole moment due to fluorine number 3 so overall dipole moment will be zero because they are in opposite direction now very interesting case is between nh3 and nf3 okay now you may think that because bf3 is zero nf3 may also be zero but you should know that there is a lone pair and nh3 also there is a lone pair but the difference here is n here is the most electronegative in nh3 so the electron pull will be towards the nitrogen like this and also there are electrons pulling this side so overall net dipole moment will be only in one direction got it come to nf3 here fluorine is more electronegative than nitrogen that's a change so fluorine will pull this side this side and this side and the electron pull by the lone pair will be this side but overall net resultant will be this side but again there is some opposite pulling also so because of this you can say the resultant dipole moment in ns3 is in one direction it will be having higher dipole moment value whereas resultant dipole moment in nf3 will be less than nh3 because of the opposite direction dipole moment so it has low lower mu value so now we can arrange in the increasing order bf3 is having the mu value smaller than nf3 which has the mu value smaller than nh3 hope you understood the concept we'll meet in the next class take care bye bye